Um, so I just kind of want to talk about right now, you know, um, I'm out here right now, and I was thinking about it a lot recently, and I feel like, you know, obviously I can talk out here because I don't think anybody's going to really judge me, because I don't think they understand English, but, um, like, I think that when it comes to a lot of, like, stuff, I feel like when it comes to looking towards the future, I feel like I've kind of wasted that opportunity for myself, you know? Like, I'm not doing what I want. I'm not majoring in what I want to do. I'm not becoming a teacher because I love to do it. I'm becoming a teacher because, you know, that's the closest I can do to making myself happy and not being homeless, you know? I'm gonna get paid horribly. I'm gonna be treated horribly. Um, but, you know, it's still better than just being a bum on the side of the street, you know? Um, I, wanted to, I, want ma I wanna make movies and stuff, you know? I wanna say something that means something, you know? Uh, but I think that that's not attainable. So, you know, I'm forced to, you know, work for the knife, you know? I'm, especially in something like education where you're supposed to help, you know, f fan the flames of a child's um, ambition. I don't know if you can understand me, but their ambitions. Um, instead, recently it's been more like at least in my experience, it's just if a student is, if a student's head's in the clouds, you have to rip them back down to the surface. You know, I don't think that's right. I think that there's some nobility in giving up my dreams um, so that other kids can afford to live out theirs. You know? You know? I just don't want I don't I don't want to fail other people like teachers failed me you know like most of my gener most of the people that are in my generation can agree that like we're kind of fucked you know and I don't want to set up a worse life for those come that come after me you know I want to I want them to be good too you know like I never grew up with a father fa I didn't grow up with a father you know I grew up with my uncles or you know like my grandpa who would die or would I would move thousands of miles away you know and even at the end of the day you know they're still not my dad and I think that if I had just, like, one teacher, one guy that was there for me every day, even if it was just from Monday, Monday to Friday, that was there to talk to me, you know, that was there to be, to put their hand on my shoulder, you know, that was there for me to teach me how to, that was there to teach me how to tie a tie, you know, teach me how to do things that, you know, you would do with your dad. You know, I think people nowadays need that, and I hope that I'll able I'll be able to you know give people that what I missed out on, you know, because everybody deserves that, you know, and I don't hold that against my dad that he that I didn't get that either, you know. He was a kid once, you know. He was probably failed by his father. You know, they probably failed to raise him the right way. And, you know, I've lived my life knowing what it's like with that absence, you know, where it doesn't, it doesn't wound me too deeply. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if any of this will even be salvageable because of the, all the other noises, but I just wanted to put something out there because... I just wanted to get it off my chest, you know? Because you can't just sit there 
and just let your dreams die in like your heart, you know? You gotta at least put it out there into the world and be like, hey, I had dreams that were more than just this, you know? But I've decided that that's not the path I'm going to take, whether it's for a, a good reason or it's just for something else. I'm just deciding that my path, um, it just, it's not what I always thought it would be, you know? I always thought I was going to be something greater, you know? Yeah. You know? Like, I thought I was going to be, like, some big guy that was, like, a movie star. I'd make movies, and everybody would go and see him, and it would mean something. Or I'd, you know, be an actor, and everybody would go to see my movies because they just loved how I, how I put a piece of myself into those characters, you know? That shit's not real. That's, like, one in a million... And even then, it's like your career could end in a second. And I, I don't want something volatile like that, you know? I want something that I want 100% sure that I'm making, that I'm doing something with my life, you know? I don't know. Yeah. I just thought, like, you know, for so long, I thought that my life, like, something big would sweep me away. And. I could change, like, I thought something would sweep me away, and I could just pretend like none of this ever happened, you know, the past 17 years was nothing, it was a footnote in the biography of Joshua Esquivel, you know, but that's all there is, you know, all there is is up to now, and it's just, you know, playing the game. Yeah. Sorry if I'm spamming you know too much. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I guess that's just... That's just my thoughts that I need to get out there. Because, you know, I don't really have any way I can tell this to. It's a cruel world. It's an evil world. No, it's not. The world is good. The world is kind. I think people have lost sight of that, maybe. But... What's the quote? There's grace and failings or something like that. Some weird garbage. Um, yeah. Anyways, bye. Hope you have a good day, night, morning. Um, comment if you like feel the same or something, or just don't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, bye. Bye. Love you. That's what I do on my TikTok posts. I always finish it by saying love you. Because I think people don't say that enough, you know? When's the last time you heard somebody say love you and, like, mean it, you know? Anyways, yeah. Bye. I love you. I'll post something new later. Bye.